Uh, we're heading to um, uh, the northern part of the country uh, where uh, uh, specifically, well, we currently have five, uh, is it 50, 55,169 people, uh, votes that have been counted. NDC has 25,477. The NPP is in the lead in that region currently with 28,797. We are heading specifically into Inus uh, Fuseini's uh, uh, Tamale Central where Noah Nash is standing by to talk to us. Noah Nash? Yes, good evening. Good evening. How, um, uh, well, I would first like to say that you are doing a great job. Uh, can you give us an update as to what's happening uh, in Tamale Central? Currently, as I speak to you, uh, since morning till now, there has been, uh, let me say, activities within the Tamale metropolis has been so low. Uh, a lot of people who should have been to the market have not been able to do so with the perception of fear that is generating because the Tamale Central uh, Coalition Center is under dispute. There's a whole lot of disparity. Today, as for me, what I saw at the Coalition Center is just like when we went for the 2012 pink sheet issue at the court because uh, I felt that we've learned a lot of lessons. The Electoral Commission has promised that they will recruit caliber, the, the rifle caliber of persons to really do the job. But trust me, there are errors, there are omissions, there are a lot of issues. So the MPP gradually is also capitalizing on that and delaying the process and is generating a lot of tension in town. As I speak to you now, there are two ammo vehicles of the military stationed at the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the House of Chiefs, just which is the major road leading to the teaching hospital all the way to the Yendi and Salaga Road. The whole road has been invaded by party activists, party faithfuls who claim that they have won the election and the process is generating tension. The filling station, which is just opposite where the House of Chiefs is, where the, uh, the, uh, the exercise is taking place, has been closed down because, one, the party boys have invaded the place with their motorbikes and vehicles cannot move in there. And the military has been very cautious because in terms of dispersing them, it might not generate into this kind of friction that will be quite heavy, making the town look like there's a lot of tension. So this is the atmosphere that I can paint to you. If you want to get an atmosphere inside the coalition center, as we speak to you now, out of the 137 polling stations we have in the Tamale metropolis, we've done close to about 70 of them. Okay. Because there are back and forth issues with respect to pin sheets that have over bloated issues, uh, uh, rejected ballots, and others which have not been accounted for properly. And then you yeah, have the return. So the returning officer is gradually going through those processes with the uh, MPP candidate and then the NDC candidate as well. But I must tell you that the coalition center is so hot because there is back and forth verbal argument, huge one, back and forth, both the NDC and MPP. And it's not really helping matters, and it has slowed down the process of counting. The other thing I will also say is that the MPP candidate has called for the counting of two ballot boxes, which the EC is yet to, uh, the, uh, the returning officer is yet to uh, whether commence that process. So we are still on a standby as, as I speak to you now. So this is the entire thing that I can share with you so far. Uh, no one asked. Thank you so much for uh, the, the, that, that information there. We'll come back to you. Hopefully, by the time we come back, uh, there will be some calm in uh, Tamale Central and we'll have some response.